Today I'm going to share with you what I carry for repairing a broken fuel line. Now the reason I'm making this video today is because I've recently had a bit of bad luck. I've come back to my bike on two separate occasions and found the fuel line cut. Once at Southampton Airport and once in my local town, so uh, it left me in a bit of an awkward situation. So I'm now carrying a slightly more extensive uh, repair kit, which includes this. I'll uh, come on to that in a minute. And uh, I'm just going to explain with you what I now carry to kind of protect myself against uh, a split fuel pipe. Now the most obvious thing you're going to need to repair a fuel line is fuel resistant heat proof hose. Now I use this one, it's braided, it's heat proof, it's fuel resistant and it, I've measured it to make sure it fits on my fuel pipe. So uh, this is the perfect one for me and obviously if you heat the end up it will stretch over some other pipes as well if, uh, if you need to use it for anything else. Next you're going to want to secure it. I find these key jubilee clips perfect because they're quick and easy to use. But uh, if you're more familiar with the model of your bike and the hose sizes, you can also use these spring clips. I find these much more efficient because uh, they're, they're much more reliable. A Jubilee clip can split, so you have to carry more than one for safety. But these spring clips are absolutely brilliant. After that, we've got uh, our fuel line hose. Now, this could have saved me on two separate occasions, but uh, I didn't carry it before. And of course, if you're in trouble, you can put your, obviously not at an airport, you can put your motorcycle helmet on the floor behind your rear wheel, and that is the international symbol for a biker in distress. So it's always good to know that. But uh, if you have this problem, you fix your fuel line, you've got your helmet on the side of the road, some biker pulls over, you can use this to siphon a small amount of fuel out of his bike to get you back to a garage or where you need to go. So um, it's always good to carry a thin bit of tube just for siphoning out some petrol if you really do need it. But that could have saved me on two separate occasions. And uh, another option you can use is fuel line repair tape, which is obviously heat and fuel resistant. The only problem with this is it's not 100% uh, reliable and it's more of a short term fix. So it's probably uh, a very quick last resort if you have to use it. So I'm just going to move back onto this. Now, siphoning fuel can sometimes be a bit awkward if your tank levels are both the same height. So a good thing to carry, obviously this is a bit impractical for, uh, for parking up, but you can carry a spare fuel bottle, in which case you probably won't need the siphon tube in the first place because you'll have your petrol with you. Or you can just carry some resealable bags and then siphon it into the bag and pour it into your tank. Now, I get my bags from a company called Prolock off the internet, and uh, they're really good, they're food grade, and in the majority of cases, you'll need your tools to remove your fuel tank and you'll need a knife to cut your fuel hose to length. And finally, I want to talk a very tiny bit about fake products, since there's a big increase of them on the market. Now, this is chain lube, or at least that's what I thought it was when I was buying it. And uh, if we just spray this onto the paper here, you'll see that there's a slight wet patch there, but there's absolutely no lubricating oil in that, in that mist that I've just produced. Whereas this one, you can clearly see that's oil. That's going to lube your chain. So be very careful at the moment for uh, fake products on the market. So now that's dried on there, if we just squeeze some water on, you can see that doesn't repel the water at all. Whereas this one is obviously more of an oil. You can see the water trying to escape. This one is just absorbing. Well, I hope you found something useful today. And uh, of course, be wary of uh, fake products on the market. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.